what you say? Ah! As long as there's no snow on the ground, the dead have to be buried right away. Otherwise, they walk. <laughs> Welcome to Mansfield House. My name is Essex, Winston Essex. And this, this is my home. I like to feel that it is home to my guests as well, as long as they remain. Here, gracious living is not totally a thing of the past. Here, they can relax, they can read, write, meditate, or <laughs> if they feel so inclined, Watch television. Television. Perhaps the single most significant invention of the past few decades. Entertainment, instruction, fact and fiction. Available at the turn of a switch. And controlled. Turn a switch, the program changes. We can depend on it. We're in control. We select, we tune in, we change. We see what we want to see. But I wonder... What would happen if, just once, we weren't in control? And what would it be like if what we were compelled to see was absolutely astonishing? Presents the country husband. Okay, ma'am, don't get so uptight. I went by your place and Joanne you invited me in for a cup of coffee. Why'd you say that in the first place? I didn't like the way you asked. Okay. All I'm asking is whether you're in my cabin or not. What do you want to know for? Hey, can't you answer a simple question? Just answer it. I don't get trust me, Tom. I know you're in my cabin and I was gone. Now, don't do it again. Okay, ma'am, but don't get so uptight. Went by your place and Joanna invited me in for a cup of coffee. Well, why don't you say that in the first place? I didn't like the way you asked. Okay. But you stay away from Joanna in the future. Take two of these, man. They'll solve your problems. Guaranteed to give you fast relief from headache pain. You don't want a headache, do you, man? So come on. Take a couple. Headache will be gone before you know it. So for fast relief from pain of headache or arthritis, take two tablets and start the day with a smile. <sighs> will you turn that thing down for once? Hey, please, Joanna. <coughs> oh. Oh. Oil pressure fast in two. Fellers. <laughs> Do you mind? Something's wrong with it. I got a shock. It never shocked me. Maybe it just doesn't like you. Must be a loose what wire. Two's dead. One's getting rough. Please. 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 Sit down. Everything's sucked in. 
Make sure your passengers are strapped tight. You were supposed to iron this. You didn't iron my uniform. What's your problem? You didn't iron it. Well, I was going to, but I fell asleep during the late movie. Besides, who sees you? Who cares if you've got on a clean uniform or not? I care. Say, haven't you got anything better to do than to sit around and watch that box all day? For instance. Headquarters calling station 305. Headquarters calling 305. Come in, 305. Turn that down, Joanna. This is a 305. How are you, Judd? Fine. Hey, what's on TV? Sound too loud? <laughs> Not at all. But I can hear it. How's the weather? Well, it's about the same. I'll give you a complete weather report later on. Hey, fine. Titus Paul Berry his partner yet? Uh, no, no, not yet. Uh, he hurt his arm uh, getting to the body. I'm going to go down and give him a hand later on. Good enough. Hey, this, this is all hard rock and clay. Maybe we ought to finish up tomorrow. It has to be done today. What's the big hurry to bury him today? I don't want to spend another night with Tommy lying above the ground. Oh, evil spirits, huh? <laughs> Told you you'd laugh. There's an old legend around here that a lot of people still believe in. As long as there's no snow on the ground, the dead have to be buried right away. Otherwise, they'd walk, huh? That's right. The spirits of the brush invade the body. Evil spirits. They give the body death and life. And you believe it? I heard Tommy moving around in the cache last night. Hey, you weren't kidding. You really were afraid Tommy was going to get out. Some Porcupine and rabbit have been scarce this year. The wolves have been hungry. Come around last night. Look, they smell the body inside. Try to know their way through. We want them wolves to get in. I didn't want Tommy to get out either. It's a funny thing. Him falling down that ridge the way he did. What's funny about it? Well, Tommy was quick, nimble as a goat. Well, anyway, I'm glad I happened to find him. That was lucky. I told you Tommy was moving around. You hear me? I said I wish you'd keep this coffee hot. Sorry. Well, I'm sorry I bought you that TV set. I thought you bought it for both of us. I bought it for you, because you were bored, you said. It didn't stop you from running after any pair of pants you could find, did it? Like the pair of pants I buried today. Elliot. Let's drop it, okay? That really hit home, didn't it? Elliot? You really be bored now, won't you? No, I won't be bored. 
I will never be bored again. I won't be bored because I'm leaving. And you know why I'm leaving? Because you're dull! When we got married and you brought me here, I thought it was going to be a paradise. And it was until I got bored. So what did you do but go out and buy a TV set? Well, you're right. You bought it for me. It's the only interesting company I've had since I came. Any messages come in for me? No. You turned it off? Just for a minute. Started to squawk and make noise, and I was watching something really good. Don't you realize there could have been an emergency? The only emergency around here is how quickly I can get out. Boring. I'm going to give you three seconds to wipe that smile off your face. And I'm going to give you two seconds to pick up those suitcases. One, two. Hey, you! Boring. What are you going to do now? <laughs> the only emergency here is how quickly I can get out. Boring. And I'll give you two seconds to pick up those suitcases. One. Two.
Headquarters calling station 305. Headquarters calling 305. Come in 305. Brent, are you there? Come in 305. Brent, this is an emergency. Can you answer me? You sure you sir? Gotta be. Our observation plane saw his car parked by the cabin. Maybe we ought to radio it to make another pass and take a look. Why don't raising this time will do that? Right here, Judd. Just about to give up on you. Our observation plane spotted a car off the road about five miles away from you. The pilot didn't see any sign of the driver. Might be nothing, but you'd better check it out. All uh, right, we'll do it. Let us know. Trying to get out. Well, there's no use looking for him anymore tonight. Thanks for your help. I'll take you over to your place. I'll pick you up in the morning. We'll start out again. And after something, I hope it isn't him. It means he's dying. Sign of a driver at all? Just no point in looking any more for him tonight. Yeah, I'll go out again myself. We got a storm down here. Getting a lot of interference. How about you? Well, wind's up. Could be headed this way. Uh, talk to you later, then. Right. Hey, friend. What's happened to Joanna? How do you mean? Could be a sleep or dead. First time I haven't heard the TV set going. Night. Right.
there. cabin. My name is Brent. Elliot Brent. Elliot? Brent? Something wrong? Oh, better not. Better <clears throat> not. You could have some broken bones. Uh, uh, I don't... Probably crawled a little, too. You know, you're very lucky you're still alive. I had a call about you. That is your car sitting off the road, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I went looking for you. You were gone when I got there. Sorry you had such a rough time. Well, don't just sit there. Say something. Are you surprised I came back? You thought you got rid of me, didn't you? Well, you didn't. We said a lot of nasty things to each other. We did a few things, too. Here I am. I love you. I don't want to live with anybody else but you. I either want to see more of you or I don't want to see you at all. But I can't come into town more often. You can stay in town. You mean leave my husband? You said you were thinking of it. But it's not that easy to just walk out. It's if you want to. If I did, would you drive up there and get me? I'd drive up there in a minute.
in 305. Calling 305. Come in for... How are you feeling? Feeling better, I think. Well, what happened to you? Well, I was driving along and a, a deer jumped out of the brush right in front of me. I swerved and ran off the road. The car got stuck. I saw a cabin in the distance. I started walking. Oh, that's probably Titus Paul's place. Here you go. Thank you. I thought I could make it easily, but somehow I, I managed to lose sight of it. I found myself in the middle of nowhere. I guess I panicked. It was getting dark, and oh, it was cold. Well, how'd you happen to be around here? Oh, just, just passing through. On a vacation? No, I'm a salesman. You know, I remember seeing you last night, but I. Uh... I think I saw your wife. How do you know I have one? <laughs> That's obvious. <laughs> I guess she's still sleeping, huh? No, she's not here. She stayed the night with a neighbor. Oh. Yeah, last night, uh, when I told you my name, you act a little scared. <laughs> Any special reason? None that I can think of. I, I know I don't remember very well. Well, I guess the car's still okay. Yeah. All I need is a tow. to go looking for the owner of that car. Yeah, I found him. Or rather, he found me. He wandered into my place last night. How'd he find it? Well, it beats me. He's a little the worse for wear, you know, but he'll survive. Nice fella, too. Says that he's uh, leaving sometime today. Kind of handy having him drop into the house. Joanna wanted to go into town, so it's going to give her a lift. I'll tow his car up to my place. Want some help? No, no, no. Shouldn't be any problem. What are you looking at me like that for? I didn't realize I was looking at you any special way. Well, you are. Just wondering why you look so beat. Tired, I guess.
back soon. <laughs> it's like you're feeling okay. Yeah, well, I'm feeling much better, thanks. <laughs> Guess you want to be on your way. Yeah, as soon as possible. I'll get you unhitched. Give me a hand back here, will you? Oh, sure. Yeah, you go on over that side there. Have a drink. Yeah, then go out and fill the gas tank. First fill your tank, then fill the gas tank. <laughs>
Sound, no picture, no nothing. Cat got your tongue.
Still here. Who did it? As long as the guy that got stuck. Red told me he was going to take Joanna back into town with him. Well. Hey, Brent! Brent! Anybody home? Joanna! I can't imagine why anyone would have left that on, unless, oh no, that's quite impossible. Still, it might be advisable after you turn off your set this evening to double check just in case. You never can tell when something that couldn't possibly happen might happen. <laughs> now here are some scenes from our next adventure on Ghost Story. Heart. <laughs> 